Sunday. The sun is glistening all over us. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And in the house today, first and foremost, we must celebrate. It's Capricorn season. I'm just going to call it what I call it. Capricorn (laughs) season. Yes. Um, I started out out the year with my birthday, but yesterday, Mama C, oh my gosh, the oracle herself. Happy birthday, Mama C. Thank you, guys. Thank you. You know, I sat home and I binge watched uh, something on uh, Netflix with my two youngest granddaughters. You know, right now, there's not too many places you can go or much you can do. So, but I'm right. happy being at home. So I'm good. I know. And I actually, I oh my that. God, I was just talking about how last week, my birthday, and I'm used to the turn up, you know, I had New Year's, no turn up, Christmas, no turn up, Thanksgiving, no turn up, my birthday, no turn up. No turn up. And I'm sitting there watching the movie Soul and I was happy. Yes, oh, right. Right. Oh, girl. Oh. Yeah. That was a great movie though. It was a it was great slow. movie. It was, and we got Lady K is in the house. Hey. 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 Oh. And I am, okay, so last week I missed the, the the entrance, <laughs> darling, the entrance of Stefania. And we are so <laughs> blessed. We have so Stefania is part of the the whole situation now. So we are rolling in the sistership with Stefania Johnson, Queen of Bling. So we got Tiffany Cobling and we got the Queen of Bling. <laughs> and today we are discussing don't allow distractions to kill your hustle. Mm. Woo! Mm. And Hello. you know, you know, I'm a hustler. So I'm sitting, you know, I always sit, tell you guys, I come, I share my stuff, but I'm such a fan of the show too that I got my notebook for my words of wisdom because I know y'all going to be giving me some lessons. So I got my notebook so I can take notes. Look. And I know Mama C, she has uh, author as well as the oracle for the sistership. And through her writing, she had some information that she had put together in reference to not allowing the distractions to kill your hustle. And shout out to Tiffany Coe who's behind the scenes making it all possible. 
Hello, hello. And you know, uh, let's face it, the 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 craziness that went on this, I don't even have a name for it because craziness is not mm. even right. Mm. Uh, that right. was the, the qu quintessential moment of, of, of distractions and mm -hmm. people are still being distracted today. I mean, it's the talk and you turn on the TV, every channel, the news channels, I mean, it, it headlines the news channels and all of that. But right. you know, the bottom line here is we've got to understand that there are a lot of distractions that keep us from achieving whatever it is we are setting out to achieve. And we have to recognize that and then be mindful enough not to get caught in the webs because there are a lot of webs of distraction out here. And just think if you get caught in one or two or three or four, oh my God, your life is done because you're gonna spend so much unnecessary time and energy uh, in these webs that it's going to take away from what you are attempting to do, whether right. it's to, to elevate yourself professionally, elevate, elevate yourself personally, or elevate yourself, period. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I took a piece out of my next book uh, that hasn't come out yet. I don't, I'm, when it's red time, it'll be time. I don't know when it's time. We're we getting a sizzle. We're getting a premiere. Okay, so yeah. that's funny. Wait a minute, we need to be paying for some advertising. Y'all getting ready to get a gem that nobody has. Okay, and this portion of the sistership will be sponsored by. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know, but that's okay. We, we It's coming, coming. it's all coming. coming through. That's we're right. Climbing. We're climbing that mountain of success and we refuse to allow anyone or anything to stop us from attaining the glory that God has has literally uh, embedded in our souls. Yes, we yes. may be we yeah. may be able to achieve at a certain level, but you know God gets the glory. But He gets He shares that glory through us, and yeah. so we need to understand that. So I'm gonna read off right. because there are a lot of distractions again that people probably don't realize are distractions, but mm. they are. So I'm gonna read off what I have uh, in this section of my book. Political shenanigans is a distraction. I had that as number mm. one. Can you imagine? We are now dealing with the political shenanigans of the century. So, you know, uh, we gotta be very clear about what, what nonsense is and how we need to uh, define the distractions and not allow ourselves to get caught up in them. Right. Haters are distraction. Oh my God. Uh, uh, next to political shenanigans, haters are the I put at number two distraction. You, we spend so much time fighting against haters and haterism that by the time we finish, we're too tired to do what it is we're here to do mm -hmm. or striving to achieve. Social media is a distraction that wastes precious time. You know, we go a lot of, most of us go on the social media because we're promoting and marketing and social media is the marketing tool of today. Right. But we can't allow ourselves to get caught up in all the mm -hmm. other stuff. Mm -hmm. So we have to re use social media correctly. Mm -hmm. Next, multitasking mm -hmm. is a distraction that negatively impacts on emotional and physical well-being. Yes. When you're doing 500 things at one time, nine times out of 10, you're not completing any of those things in the way that right. you could. Mm -hmm. Do mm -hmm. one thing at a time, get it done, have your little list, okay, a to-do list, mm -hmm. but achieve things one at a time and take your time. Because sometimes we're always on, on in the midst of the hustle and bustle that we think that we got to be in hustle and bustle mode all the time. That makes no sense. Other people's perception of you and or your situation is a distraction. Mm. You know what? I created a mantra years ago that I live by, and it's funny. What my assistant um, at the hospital when I worked at North General Hospital in New York City. She called me yesterday to wish me a happy birthday. And she said, she always remembered the mantra I gave her that 
The only perception of me that matters is the perception I have of myself. Of myself. Other Amen. people's Dad. perception could be Amen. dead wrong. And Amen. if we're going to try and live through other people's perceptions or, or by who they need us to be to feel like they're somebody, then we're being distracted from our path trying to placate them. Mm. Right. Doesn't make sense. Right. Anything that does not aid in the enhancement of the quality of your life is a distraction. And I always like to say, if it ain't putting money in my bank account, mm, I couldn't feel less. Mm, it's not right. paying my rent. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, uh, putting clothes on our back or food in our refrigerator. It is null and void to the process of my life. Mm. And that's how I live, okay? Mm -hmm. Technology is a distraction unless used wisely. Right. Gossiping is a distraction. Some people, that's all they do is gossip. They sit and they talk about everybody else like dogs because they're trying to make, they're busy trying to make themselves feel good. They don't right. understand. You can never make yourself feel good by pulling somebody else down. Mm. That is absolute nonsense. That is a warped way of thinking that will get you absolutely nowhere. Would Talk we, to, go would ahead, we, baby. Would we add like with right. the gossiping and, and, and I heard you, you're starting with toxic relationships. Um, would you consider the gossiping and the haters being kind of hand in hand? Because I tend to feel like most of the people that, that have an issue, like I put up a post, you know, I'm sitting here promoting you while you competing with me. I saw that mm -hmm. and I, I shared it. And and yeah, that was, it's that like, was dope. I'm sitting, yeah. you know, and I sit here and I say, you know, you hear these things, you hear people start to, you hear rumors, let's say that. Right. You hear right. rumors about how society has dictated what you are, what you're about. Um, I was sharing with Tiffany, one of the reasons yeah. I don't take a lot of pictures with people. I don't take a lot of pictures with people because I don't want, I know the world is crazy. Mm -hmm. And when you start uh, aligning your, when people start to think, respect, yeah. you know, yeah. people out there in the world say, oh, I saw T T Tiffany in the picture with this girl and mm -hmm. there's like 20 mm -hmm. different shots of me and this person. Okay, right. because every time we have an event, a, a sistership event or anything, this person finds themselves at the event. So, oh, Tiff, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Mm -hmm. well, they have to get five different outfits, 10 different hairs, you know, I don't know. <laughs> and so it's, it gives a perception that they know me. So when they start to do the devilment. Yeah. Well, mm. devilment. Okay. People yeah. start to say, oh, but they must know her. She, you know, she must know or he must know. Right. Absolutely. You different. know, so you start I, insinuating. Like, start to, right. right. Start to right. think of all these things. So thinking of the distraction. And then for me, that's why I, I, I say that to say a tool to alleviate some of this is to be mindful who your circle is. Absolutely. Right. At, at all mean, times. All the time. Don't mean being mean to anybody. It's just before you can come into my sector, you got to be vetted. Yes, ma'am. You got to be vetted because Don't. I can tell you over the past few years, especially opening up the new office, I've spent so much more time than I should have putting out unnecessary fires mm -hmm, because I didn't mm -hmm. give myself the protection that royalty should have. Cause you can't mm -hmm. just walk up on the queen. Now, hello. Okay. You Thank might you just walk up in the Capitol because crazy people are in charge, but I'm not a crazy person and no one on this, in this sistership is crazy. You can't just walk up to the Queens without being vetted. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? So I say that to say part of that, and I was listening to haters, um, um, gossiping, um, other people's ideas of you, all of that to me, there's some tools that we can use to start to alleviate that type of distraction so that we can get to business. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I talk about them toxic people. Yeah, and that's right. toxic relationships, whether they be family or friends. Right. 
And sometimes family can be the worst toxic elements in your life because we're conditioned to believe, oh, it's family. You can't turn your back on family. Oh, you got to do this for family. You got to do that for family. No, the best thing you can do for yourself when you realize you're in the midst of a toxic family member is to turn your hind cheeks and keep it moving, okay? Mm -hmm. And you don't have to hurt anyone's feelings, but you can say, oh, Oh my God, I'm supposed to be across town right now. Uh, oh my God, I'm expecting a, a, a video call. Oh my God, whatever you got to do, right. just close the door and keep it moving. That's you know, sometimes, be, yeah, being, you know what? Being nice begins with be, being nice to yourself. Okay, because people say, oh, well, I don't want to hurt their feelings. And mm-hmm. oh, well, you know what? They need a friend or, or, or maybe they need someone nice in their life. We're not here to play sacrificial lambs. Okay, the more you play sacrificial lamb to more people, the more you're going to find your head on the chopping block. And mm-hmm. then you're wondering, oh, well, how did that happen to me? I was so nice to everybody. You were nice to everybody, but everybody wasn't being nice to you. And you weren't being mindful of that fact. And you so weren't very nice important. to yourself. Because right. when you, you were the sacrificial with- lamb, Absolutely. I remember, I remember um, I'm, I'm trying to, it might have been Iyanla, but I'm not exactly sure. So I don't want to say it if it's not. But there was a state, there was something about like your cup runneth over that, mm-hmm. that I, I guess is, I, you know, I know, I don't know scripture by heart. I just know ideas, right. but I know it's the cup runneth over theory and stating that when your cup is runneth over, what falls out of your cup is what it's, you give. What is what right. you give? You the overflow. The you give right. from the overflow. Overflow. Right. But you That's have what to is. keep what's in your cup. Right. That belongs to you. And Absolutely. we have, today's a day of just the sistership and just the women. And I say that to say, as women, and one of the distractions that you stated was multitasking. And Ooh. I'm thinking with the cup running over and it being full. As women, and, and definitely maternal women, and that doesn't mm-hmm. mean you gave birth to them, but just you have a maternal instinct. Absolutely. We tend to feel that our crown is on correct when we sacrifice everything. Hello, mm. girl. Hello. And Ooh. our cup is empty with just like a, a little drip. A drop. And then we are woman. Hear me roar. How? And I want to chat with Lady K and Stefania. Um, share how you've had to maybe work with the multitasking. Mm of mother, business, wife, whatever, you know, church member. Um, right. How do you balance that and not get distracted? Well, first, your first, first for me, Tiffany, before I even answer that, um, this, this piggybacking off what you and Mama C have been saying, I think in order for a person to, to identify all these things as a distraction, they have to be woke. And I understand there's different levels to wokeness. Like personally for me, I had an experience, an aha moment last week. So like you never, that's why they say you never stop growing because in order for you to go to your next level, you have to see certain things. So when you identify, you're like, oh shoot, like mama shoot said, I didn't even know that was a distraction. Let Mm -hmm. me shut that down. So going back to multitasking, oh, I was the queen of multitasking. And like you said, mama see, I didn't get nothing done. Like I had all this stuff on my plate. So now I'm definitely, it's so crazy that the, the Lord gave me the word that everything you do in 2021 have to have purpose. If it don't have purpose at this time, don't do it. Put it to the side. So I just, I have, my schedule is my Bible. My phone in here is my Bible. And Hello. Have Hello. My writing too. I have to write and I have to put it in my phone so I can have double. So I have to go by what I'm doing at that moment. And I realized before people used to like, just grab me and, and pull me multiple ways. And, and I couldn't be there. I'm only one person. And I had to shut them down because it's not in alignment with my purpose. Absolutely. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. So before I used to be everywhere. Oh, like you said, I want to support you. And everybody know I'm their number one supporter. But right mm-hmm. now, I no. have something that I need to conquer. So because I have to conquer it, I'm going to see this in my schedule. And then if you need me, 
uh, book an appointment with me because I don't have time at this moment. I'm busy. Right. That's how I'm dealing with it right now. Because Wait, that, I don't want to say that. He had to sit me down. He had to literally sit me down. Lady K, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't, unless ladies want to talk about their age, but what I want to say is whatever this decade is, Mama C say every decade will get better. This is a damn good decade for you right about now, girl. It is. Saying, it you is. just did. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I'm embracing it because like you said, I can't wait till I get to 40 and 50. I'm going to be, <laughs> but I'm embracing my late 30s. The youngins, the youngins, the youngins. <laughs> the youngins. <laughs> Funny. And let me just say that with where you are right now, by the time you get to be where I'm my age, you're going to be so awesome. So you have to make sure you stay in circles with women and men, too, who are vibrating at your level. At your because level. you yep. know what? Transformation and salvation is God's job. We're not here to save anyone, especially Absolutely. if they ain't trying to be saved. If they're not doing the work to save themselves, bye. Wait a minute. Yesterday I was listening to, um, I don't know the name of the show, but it's on Genesis Radio. I, TP something. Can somebody help me if they know the TP name? TP Square? Yes. Okay, so, that was, that's Terry's show. Okay, okay. So they were talking about, in reference to you, what you said, they had a... a, a a colloquial expression. Captain Saberho. We cannot be Captain Saberhoes. Okay? That's right. That's right. <laughs> but Stefania. In, in, yes, ma'am. And, and um, thank you so oh my God. I can't, I'm so happy because I'm like, this is my first show with you. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm excited as well. So, so we, <laughs> we no, I, I, about the multitasking. Yeah. However, we right. would be remiss and dismissed and crazy. And, and Mama C touched on it. But her you number one was political shenanigans. Yeah. And in the oh. world we are dealing with right now, in the week of going into the, the following, what, 10 more days before we're wearing our pearls, darling. Hello. Uh, That's right. That's right. Political shenanigans. Share with us how, how the distractions are obviously in the hustle, but just share. How, you, how your family dealt with this passing of Wednesday and, and how this affected you? So um, I think political shen shenanigans, I can't tell you. Over the past year, I've had to actually um, remove myself some, from certain mm -hmm. individuals or situations that put me, to, to, again, would give you that negative vibe, would give you distracted from what you need to focus on and how you need to progress forward. And, you know, as far as like, you know, the family and my husband and I talk a lot about what's going on, the political climate and what happened on Wednesday. I mean, we're, we're absolutely baffled. I mean, I've got family across the seas in Italy and mm -hmm. they're saying, what the heck is going on in the U.S.? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And we have to tell them and they know this isn't America. This isn't what we are. We stand for, honestly, yeah. ourselves. And we have to, we have to remove, we have to be cognizant of what's going on, the climate that's going on, but we have to know how to move in those climates. We have to know where enough is enough and you kind of, kind of, you know, delineate, remove yourself from situations that you need to be out of. I mean, I've had people I've had to remove myself from, situations I've had to remove myself from, and it's just, you know, it's a distraction from your business, from your lifestyle, right. from your mental health, your mm -hmm. emotional health, exactly. everything that you are as a person. And you have to know who you are and what you want. Mm. Because until you know what you need and what you want and what you what your vision is, you're always gonna be pulled into those distractions because you're trying to figure yourself out. Mm. But you should already know who you are and what you want out of life and not allow those elements to kind of move into your circle and remove you from being able to do what's right for you and the mm -hmm. progress that you're trying to have from a future perspective. It's Absolutely. just too much of that that's going on. Too much of that that's it, going it on. It is. I, I, I actually have on my different social media platforms, I have people from all walks of life. I happen to yeah. be the chairperson of the diversity committee for the Pocono mm -hmm. Mountain Association of Realtors. Um, and so I have people that reach out to me and they'll say, they see some posts of certain, you know, certain individuals. How are you friends with them? How can you even let them talk on your page? And, right. and 
I'm probably, you know, I, 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 I got, I get my facials and I stay smooth and lovely. However, I have this callus mm. that is just, you know, you, you might not see, but it exists. I really don't get caught up in, in a lot of the, th and I always say this, I was talking to Tiffany Cole yesterday. Um, when you argue with fools from a distance, you all look like fools. So I, I tend mm -hmm. not to argue with fools. And I always tell people, if I argue with you, I actually really like you. Cause I don't, mm -hmm. I really, if I really right. have to, cause I'm not, I don't, exactly. really, but I will say I enjoy and maybe it's it's a sickness of distraction for me. I enjoy watching people that I totally do not agree with. I enjoy listening to what they have to say. Mm. And I always say this too, if, it, if it's foolery, I'm not gonna have conversation. I just kind of pass it by, but I'm not the guru of all. So I always say, if I'm gonna have a discussion with someone, even if, if it's something that I don't particularly agree with, I obviously might think you're intelligent enough to give me some insight in something. I, mean, I still may not go boom, but right. something may maneuver me to get a more of a point of view of your point of view. Mm -hmm. And with that, then take that, and I'm, I'm, what I'm sharing with our, our listeners, take that information and now move it into your hustle. So Absolutely. that you can now broaden whatever that is, whatever you're trying to do, whatever Absolutely. you are doing, because Absolutely. trying to do it is because we're allowing distractions to stop us. Yeah. Doing it Absolutely. is allowing these things, these entities, these elements, the things that are happening in the world to be part of the solution. Because even what happened Wednesday, it, 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 you can sit there like initially, I received that information, Miss Miss um, um, Beyonce's mother Tina posted something, and I saw something, and I'm like, "This is what is she doing?" Like, I, you know, she does corny joke time. You know, I don't know if you are into Tina Knowles at all, but she does corny joke time. So I'm thinking, "What is she? She going bizarre with this corny joke time?" And then I looked a little bit for, I'm like, wait, this is actually really happening. Happening. So when I got, when I was able to remove myself from thinking this was just a movie mm -hmm. and I was very distracted on thinking this was just a movie, put into perspective, again, what I do, I'm, a, I'm in real estate. What does this mean? How, what, what's happening to my community of buyers and sellers right now mentally mm -hmm. because of what they're seeing? Right. I'm not going right. to keep sitting here saying, well, da, 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 and, you, and how could you think this? And why? Da, 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 and, oh, oh, you really think? Oh, well, if it was Black Lives Matter, if it was Black Lives Matter all day. Yes, yes, yes. That's some, right. that's some real talk. But you got to take the information, even the haters. Yeah, right. So I you had something <laughs> so profound. I just have to piggyback off you. Um, you mentioned that, you know, even if somebody like you may not rock with, if they have, if they're saying something, you'll still listen. I have to say to you, it takes a mature person to get to that level, to hear the message and not shoot the messenger. Because what a lot of people tend to do is miss the messenger. But sometimes like, and I tell people all the time, God used people in a lot of different ways. And you needed to receive that message at that particular time. Take high side because if you miss it you don't just miss, miss it went over your head it goes so over your me head. Yep. personally i think that's a great thing that when someone can sit there and listen to the messenger and not shoot you know the message and not shoot the messenger absolutely and i agree oh, with you, know, you i think it also takes a level to your point the maturity aspect i say this as well right. when you get to the level of focusing on the person and not the issue and you're disrespectful in your messaging, you lose the message, you lose your audience. People right. will pull away. It's okay to have a different opinion, Absolutely. thought process. Tiffany, you're right. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we wanna listen to everybody because A, we live with everybody. We're gonna have to understand what other people's views and opinions are. But when you cross that line and change that messaging to now to disrespect, individuals right. or 
or you know try to hurt individuals and things of that nature you just lost the message now yes. we don't have anything else to, to to really vibe on right absolutely I, I can't understand you unless if you're gonna sit there and say call me this or call that person that or whatever have you then there is no message there right it's just right. it's just, hey, it's just it becomes it. a fight Right. Right. Exactly. It becomes it's, a like, fight. it's like today uh, where the woman uh, put this nasty message up on our Facebook uh, sister um, ship page. And you know, and, I missed it, right. You know, I missed it. Uh, yeah, you missed it. OK. But let me and just so say Ste it. Stefania and Tiffany was talking. And then because when I saw I saw it. But I'm not sure. Like, am I processing? Well, let me tell you, I put this hair up in a ponytail, <laughs> put the earrings off, Vaseline up. What's up? <laughs> What's good? What's good? What's good? Okay. Well, hello. That, that's the I way I feel. Finish. So then when I deleted it, Jesus she Christ. came on to my messenger. She sent me a nasty message on messenger. I read it and I looked at it. I deleted the message. And then I blocked her. I yeah. don't fight with fools, okay? Mm -hmm. If you yeah. hit me, it's on. I will kick your butt, all right? <laughs> I will. At 67, <laughs> yes, I'll kick your butt, okay? I used to be a beast when I was a, a, in, my, in my early teens, you know, in junior high school, you know? I was a monster. But you know what? Uh, that, mon that, that beast has been asleep for a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't, I don't care to, to maneuver in that way. But I, sometimes you have to let people know that, that you're not the one. Okay, uh -huh. sometimes you have yeah. to let them know you're not the one because yeah. when you act meek and mild to the point where they begin to think that they could do anything they want to do to you and then tell other people they can do anything they want to you, then you're going to have a bigger problem. So I immediately uh, let people know I'm not the one. In this particular case, my spirit said, delete the message on our page, which I did. Then when she had the nerve to send me a, a, a nasty message about my being a hater over posting something that was factual uh, concerning right. Trump, I was like, this broad is out of her <laughs> mind. And there's no way in the world, like I said, transformation and salvation is God's job. Yeah. If they're not listening to God, they're not going to listen to us. Okay. Right. So what we do is we, at that point, those of us who vibrate at a higher level, mm -hmm. we have to use our higher intelligence to deal with yes. people like that. Okay. And, and so I, nice. like I said, I deleted her message on Messenger, and then I blocked her from ever being able to have any contact with me. Now, unless she wants to come to my door uh, where I okay. live and start some stuff, I'm done. And we, and you, I mean, and, and, you, and, and we all got to, you know, we all carry. So it's, you know, I mean, we don't know. <laughs> Hello, that. exactly. But, um, you know, so, that's the beauty of PA. Let me tell you something. That's the beauty of PA, I'm ready, exactly. exactly. I'm ready to exactly. get through. So, exactly. Um, you know, but that's being said too, um, I had sh I had said something to someone. I, no, I made, a, I made a statement. Let me say that. I didn't say anything to anyone. I made a statement. The person said something to, said some kind of, threw up some stats. Mm -hmm. But they didn't even have a title to the stats or anything like that. So I just kind of, I replied to that. Okay, I just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And I replied to it in a way that either you're going to say something or you're not. It's about four to six hours later, the person is replying. And it was like my phone, ping, 30, you know, maybe five minutes later, ping, ping. I never, I never even looked at any of the replies. Mm -hmm. I don't so know what they do said. Mm -hmm. I hope it felt good for them to do this. They mm. got it out their system. Absolutely. They that can happens. breathe now. I've been breathing. I didn't even think about it after I got off. And, I, and I'm sharing that to say successful people, you know, in your hustle, in what you do. You know, I come from a hustle. I've always been a hustle. I, yeah. Think. Yeah, I was on a hustle, you know, mm -hmm. um, and when it comes to taking care of the people that entrust my mind for their safety and their, you know, their wealth or their happiness, I got to protect it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I got to protect it. Right. So it's about taking this information, 
making it make sense. But I will tell you, because Tiffco is, I know she's behind the scenes doing that technology thing. That technology thing is, is definitely a distraction. You mentioned mm -hmm. that. Well, for me, it's not, because I don't know how to do it. So, I mean. <laughs> That's all right. Me either, uh, Tiffany. I like uh, uh, Tiffany. I call her, no, and then if no. it's something, if it's something that she can't like do, we call my my granddaughter Tiara. Tiara. So you know, I you know, I stay in my lane, and I'm very happy in my lane. I'm very happy in my lane too. However, so if again for those who are on these devices a lot and doing things, you know how much business Lady K just picked up. I, my my timeline is in here. Everything is in here. Today. Utilize the technology not to be a distraction. Yes, Absolutely. Right. So when you and I would say one of the things to assist you in not allowing social media to be a distraction or technology to be a distraction is you set times where this is off, yep. okay? Yes. Especially if you are, you know, you don't live alone and you start to make constructive concepts within your household, family, we shut down, we, 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 what is it? Um, when you turn off the phone, it's called something more than shut down. <laughs> Y'all know the language, I don't. But you, you download off or something, I don't know. But you Power shut off. down. At power on. off. Power power off. off. At power a certain off. time. And then power on at a certain time so that communication, because you'll get so caught up in political shenanigans, yes. haters, social right. media, multitasking, other people's ideas of you, technology, gossiping, toxic relationships, that you will forget about the people that live in your home. Yes. Right. You know, when people say you, your child was five and now they're 13, you're like, yeah. where did that, where did that time go? Yeah, exactly. Because you allowed all this other stuff to become part of your day to day where it became who Absolutely. you are. Absolutely. Right. Tiffany, Absolutely. you make a great point because this is exactly the conversation my husband and I over this COVID period, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's just us in the mm -hmm. household. And I have my business. He does his DJing. We both work full time. You know, we have careers. Um, and what we noticed and we took, um, we considered through this COVID period when we were now working home and being home all the time is that we needed to get out of that social media platforms these devices and sit down and spend time with one another so mm -hmm. we can vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. We, we take so much time away from our families and our, our, you know, just what's important to us at the core, yes. at the core that we allow these things to take over our lives. And we've had to have those conversations. I mean, cause honestly, we're so used to it. You know, we, our appointments are there, social media, mm -hmm. there, our mm -hmm. family's there, our, mm -hmm. everything is on these phones. And we had to say, you know what? We need to sit down and watch a movie together. Mm -hmm. we, <laughs> we need to sit down and watch a show together. We're able to get through a season or two of, you know, X show or whatever have you. And we spend that time together. together. That, these are distractions mm -hmm. to also your personal space, your life with those that you love as well. And to your point, you're going to be in a position if you continue to allow this to be a distraction where your children are going to be 10 years older. And then you're going to say, where'd the time go? How did I know? How did I know that so-and-so was doing this? How, you know, do I know what they mm -hmm. love, what mm -hmm. they like to do? Do I know my children? Do I know my husband? Do I know my wife? And those are the things that are, again, distractions. Yes. Um, I'm allowing yourself to actually see people at the core. Yes. And, and also saying to yourself in that distraction, how many, and if you really quote yourself and really do a timeline of your own life, how many hours of the day do you spend on the phone Lord. that's not productive right. to right. who you are supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing? Right. And, Absolutely. And if you take away that time, you could, you could finish a book yep. that could be so yep. self-worthy to what you're doing, mm -hmm. growth in what you're doing in your business, maybe a better understanding on how you can you take your craft to another level. These pieces that we are allowing the distractions, these distractions, and again, this whole political climate, not just Wednesday, but just the whole climate, so much energy has right. been shifted to not being 
focused, you're talking yeah. about red and blue all the time. Those yeah. Ds or those Rs, you have just decided to, to take yourself away from the whole human race because it is not even, it's, it's, it's beyond even cultural. It's okay. truly right. that party versus this party has become yeah. everything in our minds Mm -hmm. between news or whatever that we're not thinking about these other pieces and taking time and being together and hanging out with your friend who happens to have a different political card than you do. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Um, can I go back and, to and, what Stefani said real quick? Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Mm -hmm. um, it, when you were just telling how you and your husband was making time for one another and every Sunday I plan my week, right? And I kid you not, the first thing that I did for Monday, because I have um, certain times that I do certain things, in the morning I allocated some time to my oldest son. And then in the evening time, I allocated time to my youngest because lately I've been on the fly and I said, you know, it's not, it's not cool that they don't have their mommy. They can't even talk to me because I'm so busy. So I actually put their names in my schedule. So I'm actually getting better at that. But like I said, it doesn't happen overnight. It is not a flyby, but right. you got to pace yourself. And again, you got to be aware and be conscious. Yeah. And say I have to make time because like you said, once they get 18, I'm like, damn, we're gone. My son is 18. And I'm like, dad, I didn't even do half of the stuff I did with my youngest son. And my time was taken away from him. And I know he wants that. So I was like, I have to make my children a priority. Yes. Absolutely. And, and that's so important. And so we can continue on. I just want to give you guys the rest of these pointers I have, because I think they are truly distractions people don't even consider. Jealousy is a distraction. Mm. Uh, unrealistic fear is a distraction. In inclement weather is a distraction that supports exercises that keep you from doing, that, that supports excuses that keep you from doing what you know needs to be done. Substance abuse is a distraction that mm -hmm. deadens desire, blocks logical thinking, and rational behavior. Illness is a distraction that kills desire. This is why it's so important for us to take care of our health. And next week, our topic is going to be our health matters so that we can talk about what we're doing to ensure our own well-being internally as well as externally. Mm. Uh, negativity is a distraction. And God knows there's been a whole lot of negativity out here and all kinds of negativity. I don't care what kind it is. I don't care if it's the most minute to the highest. It's, it's a distraction. Overspending right. is both a distraction and an addiction. Okay, let me stop for a second. <laughs> okay, you got it. I only have two more to go. After okay, but let me. I mean, I want to. I, 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 I want to give. I want to go back because I might need a little therapy on that last one. So I want to go back <laughs> for a minute, I'm, and I'm. I'm gonna act like I know a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> then I'm when I'm quiet for a little while. Y'all gonna be preaching for me because that last one. Okay, so I want to say to James, James spoke and said yes, and when you're even people that are in their own home need to, by themselves, need to have that time, mm -hmm. like we were talking mm -hmm. about before. So I, uh, we have so many listeners today and, and viewers, it's amazing, and I'm, mwah, thank you for spending your Sunday with us. Absolutely. One of the, one of the pieces you talked about was um, illness and... Um, Substance abuse. Substance abuse. Now, one is, and then talking about health, and we're going to talk about that more next week. Right. So, Monday, we started our 10 day cleanse, uh, another one. We do that periodically, and Tiff Co right. is our leader, and our, and our, we are all hail the queen. <laughs> um, so, that's why you know you see what's happening here. This is my day when I'm mad at the world. So I'm thankful for these 90 minutes to not think about food. Cause this is, Hello. This, oh, is the girl. Day, this is the one, hey. this is the mm. day that gets hard for me. Um, but like you said, um, we can have an excuse for anything. And one of the things we're in the beginning of the year and, and, and as many of the years have started with the resolutions 
um, a lot of people, one of the biggest ones, I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's definitely the top three is losing weight or getting more healthy. Okay. So that's a huge, huge, um, epiphany that we all have January 1st. I'm, you know, I'm going to get drunk as January, uh, December 31st, but uh -huh. January 1st, I cleanse. Okay. So, and I wait till the third because my birthday is the second, but, um, <laughs> anyway, so we're going to cleanse, we're going to cleanse. I'm going to do all these things and we're going to empower ourselves in such an amazing way. And, you know, when you live in this upper East quarter, of United States and, and, and we have, you know, some, some cold days and some snows and things like that. It could be raining, it could be windy, it could be snowing, it could be too hot, it could be too windy. We will give ourselves any excuse to do something, mm -hmm. to okay. not do this. So mm -hmm. I'm starting Monday, oh shoot, it snowed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I can't <laughs> the, the, the distraction, and yeah. I want to go too deep into that portion of the topic because next Sunday is going to be hot and we got a lot to share. Yeah, yeah. But that being said, I want to go into the substance abuse mm -hmm. area. And that can be, you know, when we think of that, obviously we always think of, you know, either uh, um, drugs, um, mm -hmm. you know, alcohol, alcohol, or... um, but you can be abusing sub so many, whatever the, anything you substance, you do in excess mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can be what is the distraction. That's I right. I always say, I don't drink when I have a problem. Like I say, oh, I had a long day. I need a drink. That's the one time I don't drink. Right. Actually, uh, probably I drink more when I'm like happy. I'm happy. I'm going to have a good time. Da, 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 da. I try not to utilize the vino as the medicine for the bad day. Right. I tend right. to try to do that. But how can we overcome that, the utilizing these things? And I said, Lady K, I see smoke coming out. So yes. come share, come give it to me. Oh my gosh, you must be in my head because one thing I was gonna say, in order for you to starve your distractions, you have this, the fasting and the cleansing and stuff like that, that's necessary because the more you do it, you're mm -hmm. disciplining yourself and then Absolutely. you're taking something away so you can add on the things that needs to be there. So yep. people like, let's like right now, like I think when I was day two into the fasting, I put on a show on a, on a, on a, um, the comment, I said, I'm ready to eat. I want to eat, but I had to starve it. Cause I just knew that was my body saying, you know, I'm used to eating what's going on. And I yeah. said, no, so no. I had to starve it but another thing too what I also do like you know you have to know how to compliment yourself because I know on the meal you can have a healthy meal so one day I say you know what because this urge won't go away I'm gonna have a healthy meal just to satisfy this simple craving I'm not going to give you exactly what you want because I know you don't want this lettuce you don't want this tuna but I'm gonna give it <laughs> right, to right, you right, right. so once you get to that certain space you have to know how to curve your appetite because a lot of people try to jump and go from one to ten you can't do that but with That's discipline right. it's possible and you can put yourself in that place because i'm i'm not always the all all the way there but i know i'm at that certain level where i know how to accommodate myself so i can starve that distraction it's a okay mindset. let me just say discipline is key yeah. when it comes to bypassing distractions okay Go ahead, uh, Stefania. No, what were you I, was gonna just, say? I was just saying it's it's a mindset. You have to put yourself in that mindset because your mind has got to tell your body what it needs to do. And if your mind is not feeling it, your body's not going to go with it. So Absolutely. You have to put yourself in that mental that mental capacity of being able to, um, you know, do what needs to be done to cater to your health. And believe me, I am nowhere near healthy. <laughs> Nowhere near healthy, okay. Um, but I have to say, for me, like you know, when I was out working in the in at, at my office, it was easy for me to go to the lunchroom and look at the salad versus the the meal that was being cooked. And I'm saying I'm eating that because that's what my body wants. Right. But I have to push myself. So now that I'm home, I I buy salads for lunch. Mm -hmm. I go out. I do my shopping for the week. I have salads because that has now forced me to eat a certain way that I wasn't eating before. Now that's just a small step. Right, right? it's but a beginning. To put my mind right. to that and to say, this is what you need to buy to force yourself to 
uh, accommodate a healthier lifestyle in, in how you're managing your, your food intake. Absolutely. And when you talked about it's, it's life is all about taking care of our needs versus catering to our wants, right. which is what most, most people chase their wants. They chasing them wants down. I want that. I want that. I want that. And they're bypassing their needs. So mm -hmm. this is one of the reasons why a lot of people are unhealthy. A lot of people are unhappy. A lot of people just the un everything. You know what I'm un. saying? Right. Un. That's un. why I, I if you the I, un. I don't I when I talk I'm I say some sometimes when I'm saying understand I'm talking to uh in a in a different mindset. A lot of times I say overstand. Mm. Because I want to be on top of this information. Right. Okay. So it, it again, utilizing words and you what they mean to you. I want to shout out. We got Trish out there. We got Nadia out there. We got Joan out there. Hey I, I everyone. Got Jane. We got Substance. We got Donnell. I saw Charles was up there. We got men. We got testosterone. We got estrogen. We got all these things happening because today <laughs> they're not distracted. They're here with us, and this is Absolutely. such a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. Dealing it's beautiful. With dealing with utilizing these outsized entities and maybe some chemical entities to to change our mood swings is that really so that we can what are we being distracted from in a sense are we because think about this when you have when you think of love and you take care of your child Okay. Think about when you go grocery shopping, because you we were at, we were just Stefan, you were saying, I go to grocery store, I get my salad, I make sure I have it. So if that way you know you don't have if you don't have the chips in the house, especially you live out here in these sticks, you gotta go a good minute to get the chips. So exactly. The There's no corner bodega. There's no bodega. There's no bodega. <laughs> so, but when you think of how you would take care of a child, okay, you're gonna buy you 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 you're, you're, you're you're finding out which type of milk or you're utilizing your you know natural milk you're looking about what type of food make sure that it's blended correctly so that they don't choke they don't do this you're right. not gonna hang out most good i want i say decent people don't have mm -hmm. a child sitting in a room full of weed smoke you're not usually drinking while you're taking care of the baby and things like that so what you know if that's not how you would treat a child why and which we are all about learning and promoting self-love why are we bringing this into our dynamic and to who we are when all of us on here and a lot of our listeners want to be super women we want to be wonder women we we want to be the the quintessential wife and business person and we're on this board and we are you know a pinnacle in the community and we are on the sistership on sunday and we do other podcasts and we do all these different things how can you be wonder woman when you are doing these things to your body and doing mm -hmm. these things to your mind absolutely so I, I i love the fact that mama c has been breaking some things down so that we can start putting a, a title to what distraction looks like because a lot of people don't think multitasking is a distraction mm -hmm. right. right yeah no they, they love the the superwoman yeah, the, 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 the 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 queen the essence of womanhood title and let me tell you those titles are detrimental to our overall well-being when we're trying to hold true to those titles rather than holding true to ourselves and that's so, very important. So now, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I wish I had some tea because I didn't make, I, I finished my detox tea, but I need some tea right now. Cause I'm going to sit back. Cause one of these, I, I, maybe we'll say, we'll only need 15 seconds of conversation of this overspending. So I'm going to sit back and let you guys talk about that. <laughs> oh, uh -huh, that's right. Cop out, cop out. <laughs> You know what? But I think I think not having the money is is something that that keeps us in alignment with what the realities are. You know, uh, let me tell you, I I have had a time in my life where I had all the money. You know what? My girlfriend Carol and I, right after work every night, we used to drive to Jersey 
to the malls. Mm -hmm. And we mm -hmm. would go, I mean, I, I, we come back, I come back. My doorman was amazed. Every night we did this and every night I came in with two or three or four bags even. I had the money, I could buy what I wanted. I can just have a good old time till I didn't have the money anymore. Then I'm like, wow, I wish I had saved a lot of that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wish I had saved a lot, but I was so, but you know what? I came from a background where we didn't have. And it right. felt so good now to have that I just went, but uh, just crazy. I remember I took Tiffany to uh, Disney World, I think it was for her eighth birthday. Well, needless to say, I lost my American Express card after I came back. Ooh. I wasn't able to pay that $3,000 bill all at one time. But we had a good time. We had the best time. Sometimes I look at the pictures and say, ooh, we had a good time. But I paid the price for that, you know? So the bottom line here is that we really actually got to be very mindful because there are consequences to our actions, our behaviors. There are two things that I want to achieve before I take my last breath. I want to get down to my goal weight, which at this point is between 155 and 165, which means I only have about 42 to 52 more pounds, depending on which one of those numbers I, I go for. And I want to become financially stable. I mean, really financially stable. I've learned how to rob Peter to pay Paul and then go back to next week and rob Paul to pay Peter. And I'm a juggle. When it comes to finding, I know how to juggle. I know how to juggle, but I'm tired of doing that. I want to be able to go to my account and know that there's money there, that I don't ever have to worry about the money. So that takes Number one, conscious awareness, and number two, discipline. Yes. Okay. So this one, right now, the priority is my health and well-being. So uh, on this ten day, which ends next Wednesday, then Thursday, we we have you know we we begin to slowly come off. Mm -hmm. uh, I've lost a considerable amount of weight already just in five days. I'm not going to talk about how much we're going to talk about all of that next week. But you know what, you've got to discipline. We have got to discipline ourselves. You know, sometimes we just go buck wild when it comes to the things that we never had, you know? Mm -hmm. So now we have the ability to have, and you know, everything I didn't have as a child, I made sure my daughter had, I wanted to make sure my daughter had. And so she used to tell people she had the best childhood ever. But you know what, sometimes I think that that was not such a good thing because when the realities of life and not having hit, then she had to deal with that. Mm. Bottom line, I'm not where I used to be. I didn't. I don't make the kind of money I used to make. I don't have the kind of income. I have enough to do what needs to be done, but I have. There's no extra. Okay. So the bottom line here is we've got to start being more consciously aware and just straight up mindful about what it is we're trying to achieve and what what we need to do to achieve the goals. And then we got to stop allowing all kinds of distractions to get in our way. So this year, no distractions. I'm staying focused on what I need to do, what I what's important before I take my last breath. And that's it. I don't care about anything else. I love the people in my life. The people in my life love me. We support each other. That's beautiful. Outside of that, I don't care what happens outside of that. Because you know what? That's a distraction. And if it ain't putting money in my bank account or paying any of my bills, uh, I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I have earned my wings. So I'm not trying to prove nothing to anybody. I don't right. have to be nice to Tom, Dick, and Harry if Tom, Dick, and Harry are not nice to me. You know, I don't have to play, you know, again, the sacrificial lamb and be so nice that because when you're overly nice, people try and take advantage of you. And I learned that the hard way. So now I am nice. I am mindfully nice. Mm -hmm. I keep in mind uh, that, that, you know what? Some of the people, people we're mindful to and give money to 
God didn't even tell us to do that. Amen. I remember Lady K saying um, on one of the shows, she decided to be kind to herself. I right. remember I remember her saying and that. That's key. And that is key. And I want to I want to say, Trish asks, who told us we need to be superwoman and wonder woman? You know what? I, I definitely feel we've told ourselves. Yes. Well, uh, we've been conditioned like that, uh, yeah, Tiffany. Yeah, and yeah, then we right. just bought into it. We and bought, there we go. And I think and nurturing, too, and nurturing as well. The yeah. nurturing. And I think too, is and I would say only because of the culture here. You know, we ha we were behind the eight ball for such a long time. I mean, if you yes. think about even just the beginnings of the United States of America, women weren't supposed to vote. It wasn't a brown or black or white thing. It women, you couldn't vote, right. you know, right. so right. then the equal pay and then you don't make the same amount or, you know, and then you became a quota right. Uh, right. and all these right. different ide ideas and conversations were being held based on the fact I can say this on when you have a vagina that versus not, then right. you, you know, these things have been programmed and then we bought into the 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 the, the program. We brought into the show. So yes, I, I agree with you in reference to that. Um as far as, you know, again, I will say for me now, it's this spending thing, this overspending thing. Um, <laughs> um Come on, girl. You know, I, yeah, yeah I, you, you know, you, right. You, you come from not having, okay. Yeah. And that is real talk. Mm -hmm. Um, and I come from watching, you know, who did I, who, again, I brought into the program, who yeah. did I idolize, Lena Horn, Marilyn Monroe, mm -hmm. um, you know, and as time progressed, you know, there's Diana Ross, um, right. and, and I remember seeing, similar to Oprah, the story of the diamond earrings and, and, you know, and then Oprah and then the different scenarios of women. So though I, I, I will say this, I do love to shop. I, de I definitely, I feel that the doctor has told do. me to go and get retail therapy for my challenges. They, here's your prescription, get some retail therapy. But I will say that the, it's not, I don't buy what I don't have. Right. So right. I, if I buy something on a credit card and I, and you know, American Express or not, I do not buy anything I can't pay off in the end of the month. If I can't right. pay it off in the end of the month, I don't buy it unless right. it is an emergency situation. Right. You know, right. your car needs brakes, tires, that, 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 that. You might have to pay that a few months. And then I'm conscious enough to say, okay, if the, this emergency came in my life, I got my mad credit card for when the madness happens. Yeah. And, right. And, but so I can't do the other thing. So Gucci won't see me, you know, TJ Maxx won't see me. These are my stores of choice. Just saying my birthday just passed. If you want to give a gift card out there, people, I'm just shouting out different stores that I particularly <laughs> like to go to. Okay, so, <laughs> so I will say that, but I will say, yes, I have seen, and I'll go in a different space with the overspending. I have as a stylist, I was a stylist for almost three decades. I have seen women use literally their last nickel to get their hair done. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so that what happens with that is the outer shell is so much more important. So yeah, you see right. me yeah. driving this or carrying this bag or the nails are like this, the hair's like this. I get to pull out my Mac lipstick in front of you so you can see it's Mac versus the 99 cent, you know, Sally Hansen, whatever. All of these different things that we tend to do that be mindful that will destroy you that and it will. destroys you to a point well, I forget I think I know his name is Joffrey I can't remember his last name but he was the actor on the Cosby show and he was real with it he was in between gigs and he was working packing bags at a grocery store someone took a picture of that and yep. then was like this big deal. Oh my God, how can he be doing this? And he's an actor. Well, the reality with him and I really, I really love that story. And I really honor him in reference is that he didn't let the outer shell prohibit what he needs to do for his family. Exactly. So when you hear 
these people that have been making all this money and the next thing you're like, why are they locked up? Because they did some real crazy things to keep the persona going. Right. So if you're spending whatever you spend on, whatever it is, even if it's boobs, I don't care. Whatever you do with your money, if it's for yourself and you're not doing it at the expense of what your needs are. Exactly. You're moving in a positive way. Go if for it. Anything shift different than that, that is a distraction. Absolutely. Of your hustle, of a what you can do. I know you had two more topics. I just, you know, I just yeah, had my therapy. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Dr. Safania, <laughs> Lady K, and the Oracle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Self hatred oh, is Lord. a destructive distraction. Yes. Ooh, a lot of people I don't mean, even know they hate themselves. That's right. People don't even realize they hate themselves, they hate no. themselves. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is one, uh, I've seen women who hate themselves and their actions tell you that they hate themselves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they don't realize that they're projecting that message into the world. And right. let me tell you, you become a prime prey for predators when mm. you are, when you are radiating uh, self-hatred into the world, when your energy is radiating self-hatred, mm -hmm. you are Prime prey for predators. Yes. Okay. So when you wonder why you you know you get these men in your life who treat you like a dog, who talk to you any old kind of way, who uh you know who who who, who just are not in alignment with with what you deserve. Right. You better do some self assessing mm -hmm. because low mm -hmm. self esteem and high insecurities equal self-hatred mm. okay uh Ooh. the last one is <laughs> most rhetoric and ritualistic practices are distracting oh break okay. that down break that to, down okay i used to go to church but let me tell you something they will use the crap out of you in your church especially if they know you got some smarts especially mm. if they know you're willing to do it especially if you don't know how to say, no, I can't do that. I don't have time for that. They will suck you dry, drain all the life out of you, your bank account, everything, mm. if you're willing to allow it. I came out of the church and I said, Lord. I'm this sipping this hot tea. <laughs> I had to be She's drinking imaginary tea over there. Some hot tea right now. That's some hot tea right there. I oh, got my hot, hot tea. tea. Let me tell you. Um, so you have to understand that a lot of the rhetorical and the ritualistic practices we engage in, don't put no money in your bank account. Don't put no clothes on your back. Don't put food in your refrigerator unless you go, unless they have a pantry and you go to the pantry. Uh, don't put uh, 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 furniture in your house. Don't pay the rent. Don't pay for the light bill, the gas bill. None of that. You got to do that. So you busy in the church, giving to the church, thinking that you got to do all of that to be blessed. Mm. How you yeah. know, unless God told you to do that, how you know you're giving to somebody who ain't the devil? Mm. You've got church people who have been part of cults that they drank poison, dead. They thought that this guy, they thought these, these, these preachers or these religious folk were God or were, were leading them in the right direction. I think that's a whole show. Let me that's just say that. Okay. So you gotta have a direct, you gotta have a direct and strong connection to God before yes. you go into any church. Yes. Because you know what? I was in one church and I could hear God talking to me. And I was like, wow, pastor up there preaching and God talking to me. And I'm trying to understand some of this stuff that didn't make any sense at all. And God has let me know because it ain't sense. If, it, if it's nonsense, it means it has no sense. So stop sitting there trying to figure it out. Okay? Right. You That's a distraction. Why you trying to figure out nonsense? 
If it so don't make dollars, it don't make sense. If it don't make <laughs> dollars, it don't make sense. Exactly. So you sitting there trying to make sense out of nonsense. Well, nonsense is called nonsense because it's no sense. Nonsense. Sensible. It makes no right. sense. It's nonsensical. Okay. So you got to look at everything that you do and ask yourself, why am I doing that? And is God telling me to do that? Okay. Mm -hmm. But the problem with most people is they don't have a direct and strong connection to God. So they can't hear what God is directing them because they're so busy listening to the pastor and the, 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 the other folks with titles in the church that they done lost all connection and all sense of what they're supposed to be doing. Many of them. And uh, let me I, just I, say I, this: you got a lot of amens on. Oh, it's a lot of amens. I'm saying, oh, amen, yeah, Mama absolutely. T. Because I'm telling, look, I'm gonna give it to you real and raw. When God called me, guess where I went? I well, actually, I went to the church first because I bought a whole bunch of Bibles and said, "Damn, I don't know which one of these I'm supposed to read." Like, what? Well, whatever. And I went to church, and God, I but I can hear God talking to me, and I would sit there, and like I said, the pastor would say one thing, and God would be saying to me. That's nothing but a lot of nonsense. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, he's standing up there and he looks so pastorly, you know. Mm -hmm. So the bottom line is we've got to have a direct and strong connection to God because the God power within us will lead us in a way that is not detrimental to our well-being. You can't shine God's light into the world if you're sitting in a dark place. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Sitting in a dark place, that's a distraction. Mm -hmm. It takes you away from who you are, where you are, and what you're supposed to be doing. What is your purpose? Most people don't know what their purpose is. And I'm going to tell on my daughter right now. Uh -oh. uh, one day we I'm had sorry, Tiff, I can't stop her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave, my daughter and I were talking, and I said, well, Tiffany, what is your vision? She said, I don't have one. I said, that's the problem. Ooh. Okay? It wasn't until she got could hear God guiding her that she became, that she started to come alive in a way that I was like, whoa, I couldn't keep up with her no more. You know, I'm like, you gotta let God lead. You know, a lot of people say that, but they don't do that. And so when it's, it's difficult, you know what it is? You, you, you had said one of the distractions is unrealistic fear. And when I was in college, I did a paper. I was in a speech class. Mm -hmm. One of the things, just the first, the, the number one fear of people is public speaking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the second fear is when you hear a gun cop. That's the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I did a paper. My final was the fear of public speaking. I felt that that would have been profound. False expectations <laughs> appearing real. I use the uh acronym. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times people have fears of who they are. They don't know their purpose. They exactly. don't or they or they might have heard it, felt it, know it, but it seems too big. Too it big. Too big. Right. So they ignore it. So we right. right, we tend to ignore it. And deny it. And deny it because mm -hmm. of fear. And right. I say that to say when reference to choosing spirituality or choosing because you know again the spirit what spirit are you every, there's, every, there's good and bad spirits what's yeah yep. as they spiritual i don't know what that means you know right, and right, I don't, right. again right. if you say you're christian or you're islam or you're buddhist or you're jehovah's witness all of that blessings to you um exactly. and it's giving you some structure or instructions but that doesn't mean i'm a real estate broker that's not all of who i am that's, right, you know, right. oh, who are you? People tend to say, oh, Korea or a political party or a religious whatever, or I'm right. a mother or I'm a father. These are just facets like the diamonds, facets you know, the overspending you diamonds. Yeah. There's a facet yeah. in your jewels Absolutely. of who you are. But the Absolutely. fear has to come from letting go, yes. letting go. And what was given to you, even if it looks big. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it belongs to you for a reason. Absolutely. I want to say that we have a sidebar conversation happening here because <laughs> Mr. Bailey has walked into the room. <laughs> and he's so involved. So he wants to give me, he's giving me notes to share. <laughs> so, from Mr. Bailey, CFO of Bayboro Real Estate, cheap plug. 
Um, from darkness comes light. Sometimes darkness helps the realization of light. Yeah. You need some darkness to know the light, but you need both components. And that is true. That's why sun rises and sun sets. Absolutely. But you can't just, you shouldn't. I mean, I say anybody can do what they want to do, but you shouldn't just live in the dark. People Absolutely. that work that third shift, you know how miserable they are? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because That's something right. is happening that they're not in that sun. They're not, you know, you got to sleep the day away to be able to work that late night shift. Right. Right. Yes. They're so off balance. And I know a lot of people that do that, you know? Oh, absolutely. I used to be at the salon 6 a.m. because that's what time my, my people that worked at Rikers Island that did that shift would come and I'd get their hair done because my salon was right near the right near the, the, the correctional facility and they would keep going and then they'd go home. And there was, there was you know, not, I, and you, I know y'all listening, I ain't mentioning your names, but there was a, a, a again, this, this, this uh, of not smiling all the time. Mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. part of their demeanor. But, but Tiffany, mm -hmm. to, but, but then, after you did their hair, they went home and slept like that. Oh, like, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Or like that. Who the heck can get enough rest like that? Remember those days? I remember when I had long hair and I get my hair done and I don't want to mess up my mm -hmm. hair after I had my hair done. I sleep on the pillow like this or I sleep in the chair like, like this, you know, just like you're saying, you know, the bottom line here is, you know, we do a lot of things that are distracting and I mean, not- I want to I wanna go back to the dark though. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. I've made some beautiful babies in the dark. Oh, hey, <laughs> so I a lot of creation <laughs> that can take, I know I got my music people out there. Y'all are in the, in, 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 this, in the booth till one, two o'clock in the morning. I'm not saying, I'm just saying there should be some, try to work with some balance. And if you are drawn that way, don't forget about the other way. That's all I, that's what I'm trying absolutely. to say. Absolutely. But don't let the distraction right. of hiding away from your gift or hiding away from what God gave you. Or hiding that away part. from reality. That part. A lot of I, I, I think a lot of people live in what I call la la land. Mm -hmm. They're not totally mm -hmm. here. Their body is here. But right. when you listen to them, you're like, wow, you really think like that you you believe that and right. you're on this earth so there there's a lot of unrealistic mindset out there and all you got to do is look at facebook to see how much unrealistic mindset well, well see is. now we're not gonna do that because that's a distraction i know lady <laughs> Kay said she has something show. to say facebook <laughs> is a reality show yes <laughs> it is you <laughs> know the show for the world like, why you got to tell everybody your, your whole business? I never understood that concept. Why do you have to tell everybody where you're going and what you're doing? I, I just <laughs> never grasped that concept. And how you doing it. Yeah, right. yeah. All right. I, I'll put it out there a little bit for you guys. Let me say this. When I do post, a lot of times y'all see, oh, you know, you see I did this. Oh, she's on a cruise. Oh, she's whatever, whatever. I want to be honest with you. Y'all, it's never real time. <laughs> just right. Just exactly. know. Right. Yeah. It ain't live and in living. Let me tell you right. something. If I'm away, y'all ain't gonna know this you house. Y'all exactly. are That's never gonna when y'all gonna see them wrong. pictures a month later. Let me just there you go. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's how right. people get robbed, Tiffany. When you you. Exactly. Live. I'm going away. They just know your whole house is unsecured. Uh, they don't know. Not, not, no, 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 no. We don't do that. That's 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 a rule of thumb. We don't right. tell anybody where we are. When we get back, people are like, oh, you guys are away. Nope, we back. Right, exactly. No, 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 exactly. Yeah. exactly. Post right. your pictures when you get back. That's right. right. That's pictures right. when you get back. But I can I can post whatever pictures I want to picture because there's always someone in this house. So <laughs> you can try it if you want to. If if my daughter don't see you, the ring will see you. And That's we have right. one front and back. So you can try whatever you want to try. I guarantee you're gonna be in living color. You're going to be, and we got nine millimeters too. Just, I and just we got saying. nine millimeters, exactly, <laughs> you know? Love Pennsylvania for that, you know? Pistol packing mamas. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> so, so don't worry. We the, got, the, 
We got um, Joan is Joan said yes, Lady K. Yes, <laughs> Sharice is watching. Oh my God! Hey, Sharice, we miss you. I I, I hope all is well. Um, Tiffany is laughing. Why are you laughing at? Where you at, sis? Uh -huh, she in the background. She likes to be. She likes to be in the background. Leave her there. <laughs> Leave her in the background. Leave her in the background. Right. And you know what? If this show wasn't providing the level of an absolutely beautiful life skills that people can extract, it would be a distraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of talk shows out there. I don't care who's screwing who and who just had whose baby. I don't care what your name used to be and what your name is now. I don't care about any of that. That's your business. That's You're right. taking it to the bank because you're getting paid to do that. That's right. My goal That's right. and the vision God gave me was to create programs that are empowering. First of all, it has to be enriching, that enriches women's lives. Because if it enriches your life, then you will take responsibility for empowering yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not looking mm -hmm. for somebody else to empower you. Now you have some tools. And, 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 and I tell people, they're spiritual tools. Use them and allow what you get from the sistership and grow. And to grow. help you grow right. and mm -hmm. become who God created you to be because you weren't created to be a bum. Okay? Well, let me just say this. A lot of the distractions that we do see and that we are um, allowing to be part of our day-to-day, -day, part of our food, part of our mediums, these distractions are created by people or entities or businesses or corporates right. that are utilizing you to be distracted as they become billionaires and exactly. they have the power. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. You're hitting on the head, Tiffany. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I, I want to piggyback off something you said because you said, you know, you want to empower yourself. But me personally, I think in order for you to get to that level, you also have to be held accountable. So when you have a system in place, you have people keeping you accountable, right. then that's going to decrease the distraction because they're going to say, hey, girl, take that down off your Facebook. You sound crazy. Or yeah. whatever the case may be, yeah. if you Absolutely. got people in your corner and they got your back, yes. they're going to tell you like, hey, like you don't need that. And they're going to say, what did you do today? Did you just do what you said you were going to do today? Because that's Absolutely. also going to help bring the distractions down. But Absolutely. So you have to be at, again, you have to be at that level to want to say, I want to be held accountable. If you yep. don't have that, you're not ready. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And all you're going to do thing. is be a distraction yes. to right. everybody else. And I so agree with you, Lady K, because the bottom line here is if you don't have, if your circle doesn't have women and men who hold you accountable, who care about you enough to pull your coat when you've done something that is not conducive to your well-being and whatever it is you're attempting to achieve, right. then you need to go find you another circle, yes. okay? Because uh, in the sistership, be, we hold each other you. accountable. It might if be. you are in a if you are in a group. I and I I I teach this with with my agents as well as in different workshops that I I create. You are the average of your group. So mm. in whatever it is. So when you think about you know who are you and and if you become either the top, that doesn't mean you don't love your people. But you need right. to now get into another situation so that you're right. getting fed. Absolutely. Because if all you're doing is this, then you need to get somewhere where you're getting fed. And that way you can still do this for other people. Absolutely. Now, if you are around a nothing but negative people, you're the average of that as well. Absolutely. So if you want growth and if you want to get involved with some people or be around a group that is about something, you have to, there is a, you're going to have to be getting to yourself yes. and switch something. Because I'm going to yep. be honest with you. Like I said in the very beginning, you're going to get vetted before you can come to the queen. Come, 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 come to right. That's right. That's right. Okay. So work 
listen from two to three thirty every Sunday. Absolutely. Yep. Get some of this food. Get some of this information. Mm-hmm. Read some books. Pull yourself together if you need to call on Jesus or Allah or Buddha. Whatever you need to do, namaste yourself however you need to, to build up some type of core. And now you take that core to an environment. Because the other thing is too, it is very selfish in a negative way. Because I don't think selfish is always negative. But it's very selfish in a negative way to be at your bottom barrel and then take your bottom barrel and try to get into somebody who's doing their thing and say, come down here with me and help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. Don't be a distraction exactly. to someone right. who's trying to build. Exactly. But bring, bring, the bring the additive. Bring the additive. Yes, it's very, very draining. Very draining. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you said that in toxic relationships. Again, these are the things, and it's, again, having such a really great list. I can't wait for the book because this alone when you're starting to say, hey, I'm not getting things accomplished. And then you go down this list and you say, you know why? Because I've allowed illness. Right. To get in, to be a distraction. But I will say, I'm going to give a positive to Wednesday. I'm going to give a very good, I'm a, to me, I feel, y'all might, I don't know, whoever's out there, this is what I say, this is me. I will give credit to 100,000% to whatever powers. Afterwards, they went right back to work. Yes, they did. Mm-hmm, yes, mm-hmm. they did. That's the United yep. States of America. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Tiffany, and you, you know did. what? Yeah. Tiffany, That's the good yeah. thing that happens with the sistership. We all have conversations with each other throughout the week, mm-hmm. multiple times during the week. We share with each other. We we help each other. We provide that that level of connection that is so strong that it just takes us to the next, consistently takes us to the next level. And that is such a good feeling because if you're working to get there, to have people in your life who are helping you to get there, who, who see the vision, who love the vision uh, and are, are part of the vision, wow. That is mm-hmm. so awesome. You know, when I think of the sistership and, and the women who are part of it, we all are doing fabulous, incredible things. And then on Sunday, on Wednesday at the midday tea and on Sundays during the show, we bring the best of ourselves to the table mm-hmm. with the hopes that- I showered, I showered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Put on some perfume, got a little necklace on. It's you know, not in real. I smell good. I mean, yeah, me too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, you know, my, and, and that makes us feel good when we do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't right. always have to be good. Cause see, when I finish here, I'm gonna go upstairs, take this necklace off, wipe this this lipstick off my 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 uh, lips, uh, take this top off, put my pajama bottoms back <laughs> on, and my t-shirt. I'm good to go. You see what I'm saying? So this time gives me a little opportunity to dress up a little bit, you know, to to, to cater to that other part of who I am. Yes, that, that woman yes. in me, because sometimes we're, we're everything else. I'm mom, I'm grandmom, I'm, I'm mama C, I'm all these, other, but what am I beside that? Yeah, oh, well, that's, I what, that's when the eyebrows go up. I see, oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Mothership is coming. So this is the opportunity. What you say? I said the mothership is coming. That's said the mothership. Hello, girl. No, I said the brother. Oh, the brother. brother. Oh, wait till the brothership comes. Oh, ooh, that's gonna be good. I can't wait either. You know. Next next week, I'm excited about the health, and and even speaking about, even speaking about putting on pajama pants. And putting on certain outfits that right. we kind of don't know, like you know, with the with, and I'm gonna call my spade. Now I'm not gonna call nobody else spade. I got leggings in every color. Okay, so now we did the ten day. You know, we start the ten day off with you know, you get on the scale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> and and leggings has a way of holding things together in a different kind of way. Okay. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> That being said, 
when I looked to the left and saw the jeans, I knew that is not going to happen since this COVID. So I keep, I stayed to my leggings, but it was still working out until Tiffany had us go on this scale on Monday. Uh, mm, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tell me about it. You so, know, I, I, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag uh, today because we're going to do that next week. But my, my results have been great in just the five days. So we got five more days to go Well after today four more oh, days got, to go. oh yeah yeah wait we got wait to tomorrow more days tomorrow wednesday. yeah three three wednesday yes. wednesday look at you look how yeah. fabulous you are darling yeah, yeah. hello we exactly five more. so Do it. what i've Do lost five in more. five days i can imagine give me five more days wow you know and then on the day after we have what's called the the fat flush tea uh tea. Flat, the soup flat the soup. flush Soup. The soup. Right. So, uh, that we'll do that. Tiffany and I, we will do that on on uh Thursday. Then I already got my menu ready for a Friday, but I'm going straight into keto. So you know, uh, but still with keto, I can eat vegetables and and fish and um uh and I eat when I when well, I like, you meatball, gotta let me I'll know have... what day after the fasting I can take you out for your birthday because us Capricorns gotta do something. Oh yeah. Oh, um, whatever. You know, uh, uh, anytime after after Thursday. Anytime right. after Thursday. After I'll be, we, I'll after we get the fat flush soup. Yeah, yeah. So flat, <laughs> fat flush soup. That's a tongue tongue tied twister or whatever. You know. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that even when we go out, you know, uh, 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 a broiled piece of salmon and a salad works. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about being mindful and being disciplined. I know what I need to do because if I don't stick with this, then I know I'm gonna gain the weight back and then I'm gonna have additional pro problems with my back and my knees. I know, knees she's cutting us, Ma. Ma, she's right. cutting us off because we oh, have done our off. 90 okay. minutes. Everybody, it goes by it. so fast. <laughs> it goes by so fast. Yes, it does. 2021 yes. mantra, discipline, no distractions. Amen That's to right. that. My Amen. sisters, Amen. hello. You know, hello. I want to shout out Jesse, who also was with us live throughout the entire show. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you so much for viewing. We love you. We are here on a sistership with you. We are growing, glowing, and showing up in your lives as well as you are showing up in ours. It's Hello. Lady K. All right. Woo -hoo. All right. And before we leave, before we leave, I know everybody gets to see the great and fabulous Mama C, but I want everyone to know Mama C's story. So check the Lady K Chat podcast this Tuesday, part two of Family Secrets. Oh, oh and, and, well, we're telling it, aren't we? Hello. Yes, we are. <laughs> and we're gonna welcome Miss Johnson. Make sure y'all follow Stefania, Queen Bling, and also Mama C. Tiffany Co is in the house, and we got our next week. We're gonna be healthy. I yeah. know Tiffany wrote that info. Give it Posse P. Peace out. Peace out. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. 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 Love you guys.